Project purpose was to build a V-plotter style CNC Dremel that sits up vertically to save floor space. Some sub purposes are to design, program, and install the gray encoders that do the positioning for the two geared DC motors. We also wanted to use as much recycled parts as possible, that way we could stay within our minuscule budget. This is the electrical system for a CNC mill. In the center, the Arduino Mega reads and interprets the G-code from controller software and computes the length of each wire through triangulation in order to position the CNC mill tool head. Next, we have our right and left encoder assemblies, which consists of an Arduino Nano, an array of LEDs, and an array of receivers. The Nano reads the bits off of the encoder and converts those into a position. To the right and left of the Arduino Mega are two additional Arduino Nanos. Each of these Nanos take the required position values from the Arduino Mega and the actual position values from the encoders and uses a PID algorithm to compute the needed motor speed and then uses the H bridges to control the motors accordingly. This is our PC power supply and we have it modified and hooked up to this screw terminal so we can route the power. The power supply has these two wires that when grounded turns on the power supply as shown here. You can see the indicator lights of the Mega and the two H bridges turn on. Each track is a bit and the receivers or the emitters shine light through and then we have receivers on the other side. And so here we're printing the values. Um, it's taking the code and converting it from gray to code to binary and then from binary to a, a number. So if Tristan you want to move the motor, you can see it changes based on the position and so that you can know where you are at all times. We have the encoder on the end of this rod um, which is the main shaft and goes here and it winds up the, the cord and we CNC this uh, bracket out to hold our bearings and keep the shaft aligned. And then we have right here is our motor coupler. Uh, it's just a piece of fuel line that we hose clamped to the shaft and the motor. Um, and then a 3D printed motor bracket to hold the motor on and the motor itself. The Z axis is driven by a lead screw that has two uh, linear rails with 3D printed bushings. That way it can go in and out for the cut depth. Okay. Uh, so we thought the easiest uh, and most simple counterweight system would be just to have a couple pulleys on the bottom, go up top, and we have a high tech weights right here. And um, it's just to help keep the, the whole thing aligned with the yeah, with the board and as it's cutting. But you just said that project was going to be nasty, ugly, kind of interesting.